Welcome back. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Alice and this channel I showed my adventure abroad. So today I'm taking you to a market called uh, the City Market here in Kansas City. This is where I go and buy all of my African food and you can pretty much buy everything from everywhere around the world and the market is just right behind me. I'm going to take you along. This is going to be a vlog type video and I'm going to show you everything that is sell here but we're going to go to the specific market which is called the African store. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of the things that you can get in there so come with me. get everything from friends like fromage and all the sausage, the saucisson, the les jambon, everything that you can get in Europe. Uh, most likely when it comes to the prices, you can have them here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can get it up there. I'm going to show my audience why I buy all my ingredients. 
a minimum of gonna focus on the things that you sell here. You gotta think. Thank you. Alright guys, so yeah. there is pretty much everything here. You have the coco yam and the plantains. Even the yam, look, look, all sizes. And here you can buy it by the way. So I just have to show you how I buy it. Let's go to the back and I'll show you where I get the bubble up. Better settings. Uh, the different cassava bobolo from Cameroon. This is the one from uh, uh, Gabon. How to make it? And this one is from Cameroon. Get a card. Okay. From oil from Ghana. <laughs> so I think I'm gonna get gonna get a bag of bubble. Can you hold it? Yes you can. With money, let's see if we Smoke turkey for six dollars, just like this a bag, like this, six dollars. fish for eight dollars uh, some of them depending on the size ten dollars um, all these are smoked dried fish uh, that you can put in the sauce um, stewing chicken uh, you have a big chicken. bag of uh, mm -hmm. big bag of stewing chicken for for 20 bucks that's huge a lot of chicken in there but 
Are there any Cameroonians watching me right now? Look at what I just found in this shop. It wasn't here the last time I came here. This is amazing. I'm totally gonna get some of that, some thumb pop the mousse. Mm. Wow. Yeah. Oh. That's so good. So good, my baby. So good. Cassava here, all sorts of cassava, the fresh ones, but it's, it's like more than one. Mm -hmm. Cassava, fresh. This bag is it's like a pound and a half, uh, one pound and a half. I can see the price. But yeah, you have all the flour here, all frozen. And we have fresh fish. I'm gonna grab some fresh fish. This is what we get here. This is six dollars for about six pieces of fish. Bifata. In Cameroon we call it bifata, but I think we call it sardine or something. So, very affordable prices in this. Everything here, everything that you need, it's in this market, like at this store. So, guys, I think I'm done. I came mainly to just have on meat because we have most of the things that I have, given that I just came back from home. We brought a few things, a few ingredients, but. I'm gonna go to the other side to show you all of the other dry flour that she has. And then I'm gonna pick up gonna come pick up my my juice. So let's go show you the other side. We have like all of the teas and crackers from different There's this one that we saw at Spar. Spar in Nigeria. This is the sorry there on Okay, baby, let's go on the other side. Leave it, okay? Come on, baby girl. Okay, let me show them. Look at all that giga breads. All the breads. And then you have Come on, baby. It's got a chinchin here. We have it at the store. I become this way, mommy. Planting chips. Can buy it here. So this is where I buy my ogi and powder like this. Um, that's pop. So I come and get this here and then for the like how you have basically like my husband is showing you everything here. It's so just gonna do it for you can see with you kind of so much. There's pig milk. You even have mayonnaise calve. But I didn't know she sells mayonnaise calve. So guys, remember what I was telling you in my last video that when I make when I made the uh, ndole, I was telling you that when you go to the market in the store, you will buy the peanuts like this. What I would recommend for you to buy is this one instead. It's the same thing except this one is peeled. The package is peeled. So I recommend to just buy this one because then it's safer. So you have melon seeds in the seeds and you also have this is the same this this is the ground this grind the grind one of this so when you do a goosey soup this is what you cook with you have it here and it's six dollars for this bag <laughs>
can even buy an African clothing here as well. It has all the fabrics, this is like the Nashiki. This usually varies whatever she finds, I think. Um, but I want to show you African typical. To me, it looks like this whole area, it's very Cameroonian oriented. Um, because all of the all of the ingredients that I see are very typical. But I want you guys to tell me if it's also something that you use in your country. But sometimes I'm just curious to know. We have Efru, I call it Efru. It's like a seed like this. Um, we cook it in almost every pepper soup. And we have Jansa, which Jansa, which here, what's the name? Yeah, it's Jansa, $3. $3 for this quantity, guys. And then I see things I my mom would totally know about this. Um, we use it for pepper soup and also bongo chobi. Uh, how they call it here? Ethiopian pepper. Oh, I didn't even know Ethiopian uses, but yeah, we use it a lot in Cameroon. This must be one of the. what are you arranging over there? Upstairs. There is even this, you guys. That's Akma. Obono, yeah, Obono. So in Cameroon, we call it, um, how do we call it again? Uh, um, I forgot. Hey, and it's even Sese. Sese, you don't know how they call it here. Per second, per second. Sese. This is the end of our trip to the market here in Kansas City. I hope you enjoyed the ride. If you did, please give a thumbs up to this video for support and make sure you subscribe to, you know, keep me going and make such content. Thank you.